Governor Pence is dissolving his education agency, the Center for Education and Career Innovation. It's overseen staff for the State Board of Education since its creation last year. The news came as a surprise to many in the education field because CC, as it's called, was the governor's brainchild. To explain what this means for education policy in Indiana, we're joined by State Impact Indiana's Rachel Morello. Thanks, Joe. Pence made his announcement at a legislative conference this week. He started by saying he wants state lawmakers to focus heavily on education reform in the upcoming legislative session. Then he said that change has to start at the top and announced he would get rid of the education agency he created. I just thought it was important that someone take the first step uh, to restore trust, to restore harmony at the highest levels of education in Indiana. We've simply got to get the State Board of Education working. What Pence is referring to are the ongoing battles between Democratic State Superintendent Glenda Ritz and the members of the State Board of Education, who the governor appoints. Take a look at this footage from an education board meeting earlier this year. It exemplifies what's become a common scene at state board meetings. You have, you have no authority. You have an appeal of your rules. So where in the rules is it? As we mentioned, CC oversees the education board members, but the state superintendent is the chair of that board. And Ritz says CC is a shadow agency to her own Department of Education, duplicating yes. services and clouding questions of authority. That's why Ritz praised the governor's decision to eliminate CC, but then she followed up her statement with this. While dissolving CC is certainly welcome news, there are other aspects of the governor's legislative agenda that are concerning for public education in our state. Ritz didn't specify what she was referring to, but the governor also said he wants state lawmakers to pass a law that would allow the state board to elect its own chair. Right now, the state superintendent automatically holds that position, so if the legislature did what Pence wants, it would strip Glenda Ritz of some of her authority. And Joe, the Speaker of the Indiana House of Representatives, did praise the governor's call to make education a priority, but he didn't mention anything about changing the superintendent's role. So we'll have to see if that becomes a priority for the legislature next year. Now, what happens to the people who are in that agency now that it's dissolved? The two women who headed up the agency will be headed out. So Jackie Dowd will be headed to the Department of Workforce Development, and Claire Fidian Green will head up the Richard M. Fairbanks Foundation. And as far as everybody else is concerned, we're still waiting to see. Very interesting. Thank you very much, Rachel. Thanks.